Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and it's Saturday, that means it's time for the dot-com lunch, which is later today, but it's also time for calls and coffee and charging the Tesla. But anyway, I'm gonna go upstairs and check out the cars. Ah, not as busy today. But then again, it is 9 a.m. and I am actually here like when it's just opening for once. I normally here around 9 30 10 o'clock and this parking lot is full and the cars are just coming in now so but still a good selection let's go check it out got a couple of nice mclarens here the one on the right is a 570 the one on the left is the 720 both in white now oh, there's a beauty america's sports car Yeah, this must be worth a pretty penny. Classic Herc shifter, four on the floor. <laughs> Love the speedometers back then. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, here comes uh, more participants. Yeah, there. Are, there's really no rules for cars and coffee. Basically, if you, if you have a car, you want to show it off. Everyone is welcome. Just uh, pull on in, find a spot, park yourself, and enjoy the show. There's only three rules. Uh, no speeding, no burnouts, and no revving your motors. The uh, Corvette Club is here. Oh, I'm not sure if they are the Corvette Club. It could be just a bunch of Corvette enthusiasts or they decided to park in one place. But uh, yeah, good representation. Uh, I really like Corvettes something because they represent amazing value bang for the buck like for the amount of money they cost and the performance they offer there's really nothing can really come close to that like uh in uh, car and driver's recent lightning lap a uh, the new z01 corvette was faster than every single car except for the porsche 911 gt2 which cost like three times as much uh, that's a purple people eater this is the uh, Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Uh, you can tell it's an RS by this big giant wing in the back. Yeah. And I guess that helps too. Wow. Two purple GT2 RS at the same show. Who would have thought that possible? This is, this is pretty much identical to the other one except for the seats which has gray inserts the other one was all black this is the top of line amg gt3 uh, it's basically the hot rod version of the gts you get uh, it has a more aggressive front fascia uh, big wing in the back and a carbon fiber roof interior has more alcantara uh, there's the alcantara steering wheel and that little yellow thing in the center. I'm not sure what that is. I gotta look it up. The red seat belts are an $800 option. And today is a very hot day. The sun, I'm feeling it right now. It's the sun's coming out. I, I, I should have wore shorts. Uh, yeah, my mistake. When I get home, I'm gonna get changed. This is the regular Porsche GT3, not the RS. So uh, you can tell the difference is, first of all, they don't offer those crazy purple color. So it's more traditional. And this one is black with the optional red seat belt. And the wing is smaller. Vintage cars are very popular cars in coffee. Check out this convertible. Yeah, the Ford Super Deluxe. And all right. This is this Bel Air's for sale, 1957, asking $39,500. Let's do that international. Cool. It's always interesting to see the cars at the handicapped parking spot when it's like cars and coffee. So we got a Corvette, uh, a vintage car, a Cadillac Galante, and a Ferrari California. All with handicapped plates. I mean, handicapped tags on there, under the mirrors. <laughs> Ooh, -hoo, 800 horsepower. Now that's a supercharger. And 
all right. Got an Indy 500 Pace Car Corvette. I customized Lexus. The Hooligan Ford. <laughs> the Hooligan Ford, that's what I call it, the Hooligan Ford. This is cool, check this out, it's, a, it's an Avante. I haven't seen one of these in like forever. And it's got a Paxton Super, uh, it's got a Paxton Supercharger too. Wow, Pro Charger. Apparently, according to, this is to believe, this thing runs 199.8 miles an hour. This thing is really, really fast. <laughs> in, a, in the mile in Colorado, it ran 198, almost 200 miles an hour. Wow, this is serious. <laughs> this is the car of the organizer of Cars and Copy. And if you're wondering where all these people are gathered around here, all surrounded one particular car is because this is the Bagani Waira. Whoa. Yeah, this is the Pagani Waira. That is really crazy. This uh, Pagani Waira BC sign was milled from one solid piece of aluminum. Every single boat on this car, on this car, like all these little boats, they're all made. From, all the boats are made from titanium. Every single one of them. There's over 2,000 of these boats, and each one of them, I can't focus on it, but each one of them has the Pagani logo inscribed onto them. This thing is crazy. Now, here's the attention to detail. Notice the weave of the carbon fiber. Uh, let me zoom in, I hope I can pick this up. But if you look at the weave from one panel to the next panel, they actually can flow in one continuous flow. So they all actually, the weave matches up. They look at the weave from this panel, right here, the weave here panel, this matches up. That's the attention to detail that you need to get when you're trying to build a $6 million supercar. Even on stuff you cannot see, like under the hood, the detail is crazy. Check out that wheel. Oh, wow. And then check out the detail on the shift linkage. This is like automotive art right here. I mean, the problem of Creating a car like this is you really, you really can't drive it. <laughs> it's it's like artwork for display for people to enjoy, people to watch. Ah, here comes all the other cars. Wow. I think there's another GT3 RS. And I think ahead of it is a GT2 RS. I'll check that in a little bit. But the rest of Supercar Row is pretty cool. We have, you know, the Range Rover, a Ferrari Dino, a 488 in yellow, Ford GT. Uh, <laughs> here's a fun Lamborghini. <laughs> this one is by Rap Legends. And as you know, they'll guess uh, they wrap your car. So I guess this is a sample of their work here. This whole thing is gonna come. Yeah. So I, I'll have to Oh, I love it, I love it. Look at this. It has a tow hitch. Once mine is done, they'll have the Was it gonna tow? I'm not really sure, but hey, why not? I should ask the, I should ask the owner, why do you tow your Lamborghini? <laughs> and it's missing the back bumper? 
There is, uh, there seems to be a trend with customized Lamborghini lately. I, I noticed that they've been moving the back bumper and making it customized so you can see all the fancy exhaust and stuff. He, he even wrapped the shift lever. You know, after looking at all these wrapped cars, this uh, McLaren 720 almost seems normal. All right, this is cool. Check out this. I believe this is a Morgan three-wheeler. Yeah. It looks like a Harley Davidson motorcycle three twin. The exhaust, and believe it or not, it does sit three. It does sit two people. Yeah, it's a Morgan three. <laughs> That's really cool, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind putting around this thing. I would feel, I would feel extremely unsafe, however. Supercar Road is really filled today. Lots of Ferraris, Lamborghinis. Uh, here's a couple more Lambos. Uh, we have a Ferrari Testarossa in yellow. Used for Miami Vice. A, a, a yellow Huracan. A red Ferrari. There's a McLaren coming in, just parking. Audi R8, and there's that GT2 RS. Yeah, this is the uh, the car that set the record for the Nubu Ring, and also set a new record at Car and Driver's Lightning Lap. It basically looks similar to the GT3 RS, so you can get a good look at it. The, the nose is more aggressive. Uh, hmm. I don't know which nose. Which one? Which one nose do you think looks better? Yeah, I think the GT3 nose looks a little more aggressive. Other than that, they look kind of similar. The wing is the same. Uh, the GT2 has intakes, whereas the 3 does not. And the big difference is the GT2 RS. And this has a RISEC package too. The GT2 RS has a turbocharged motor that makes 700 horsepower, whereas the GT3 RX has a, has a normal motor, no turbo, that makes 520. So this is hold on to your hat, you're gonna get killed. This is more like just hold on to your hat and scream. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this look at the uh, biggest cars and coffee. I, I believe in America, uh, like I said, Cotton and Coffee started uh, in Orange County and it's still going on. So every Saturday here at the San Clemente outlet from 9 to 11, if you have a nice car, you want to show it off, bring it here. Uh, if you just want to see some nice car, come on down. This is a family friendly event. Uh, everyone's welcome, including your dog. Yeah, so bring your dog as well. See, dog, dog. Okay, this is John Chow from JohnChow.com. Thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like that. Like and share my video. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys on the next episode.